So uh, that's not necessarily a bad thing. Um, so the initial uh, plan was to finish five lipsticks, four eyeshadows, three blushes, two foundations, two face powders, and a highlighter. Um, I think I put two highlighters in, if I remember correctly. But we'll get on to that. So um, in the lipstick category... I have this little collection of five lipsticks. Uh, there's honestly not much point showing you anything because you won't be able to see anything. I have used all of them maybe once or twice. Um, I have all these other lipsticks in projects and these have not been my focus whatsoever. It's not that I don't like any of them. They're quite nice. They're nice enough lipsticks. I mean, the colours are... like they're, they're color, I picked colours that were up my alley. Um, I just haven't really focused on them, but I have used them a few times. Um, yeah, I just I just got to focus on them, but I don't know that that's actually going to happen this year. <laughs> it is what it is. On to the eyeshadows, though. Um, I had these two eyeshadows, which were like pressed into these containers. So this was the dark olive green one. I actually got this on today. Oh, but I've actually got this on today. Um, it's really hard to see any progress in this. It's actually pretty pigmented and you don't really seem to need a lot. So um, I have used it, but it just doesn't seem to look any different. It looks exactly the same. But the cream one that was post that was um, pressed the same way, that up there is all I have left. Because um, I mainly use it to set my eye primer, and yeah, I just have that little bit there that's up in the top corner. So it shouldn't be too much longer until that is... So of course don't have corners, do they? Ah, uh, top edge, there. <laughs> um, it shouldn't be too much longer until I've used that one up. So I'm actually really happy about that. I made great progress on this on that one this year. Um, if I can find a picture from the initial one, I'll insert it. The other two that were in there were both um, Eco Minerals ones. Again, they're in these little containers. So this one is Indian Summer. Um, I will probably have to insert pictures for you to be able to see any difference. I have been using them. Not a lot, but I have been using them. Um, this one's the shimmery one. And this one called Coco. I've probably used a bit more, but it looks like I've used even less. <laughs> Again, if I can find pictures, I will insert them. But um, I know I've been using it. It's just because they're, they're mineral shadows, it's really hard to see any difference in those. But I'm really happy about that cream one, so because that will be the one, two, three, you know, the third or fourth eyeshadow I finished this year. So... For me, that's great. I don't wear makeup every day. If I did, I'd move through products way faster than I have been. Now, the three blushes I had in this project, I had Amethyst from Eco Minerals and Dreamtime from Eco Minerals, which both only had like a small amount in them. I actually used up the Amethyst one pretty much completely on its own. Um, that's how long it's been since I've done updates that I didn't actually um, put it in there. And the third one was the Hope Girl one, which is this light pink, which was probably just a bit too light and sparkly, and I didn't really love it. And this was the weird container it came in, which is one of those ones with a puff on it, which still has some product in it, but never mind. So what I actually ended up doing was taking the little bit that I had left of the amethyst and what was in dream time which was a more excuse my dog by the way um, which was a more kind of brownie toned um, uh, blusher uh, and I actually mixed them all together into this now this was actually pretty much 
full when I first did it. So I've actually used quite a bit, but I found that this colour that it made, which is a more muted kind of pink, is, um, I prefer the tone of it. Let's see what I can... I might not be able to see it. I can barely see it. It's still very light, but then I am very light, so this is not really a problem. But I just prefer the tone of it because it's not quite so baby pink. Um, as I said, I don't know that you'll be able to see it. <laughs> but, yeah, so I've actually found myself reaching for that a lot more. Um, and, yeah, I've, I've actually used, like, it was almost literally full to the brim when I first did it. So I'm actually pretty happy with that because it means I've used quite a bit of that up. Um, I doubt I'll get it finished by the end of the year, but I'm not actually too concerned at this particular point. Um, the foundations. I had the Eco Minerals Mineral Foundation. There was actually two colours. There was light vanilla and vanilla. I actually mixed them together in the end and used them just like as a face powder. And they were only sample size. So they were... Um, they were in these containers and I have uh, used them up, like, as I said, I mixed them together. Um, and the other one was the CoverGirl True Blend, which was a mix of L1 and L2. Um, I used this for a while and then I realised that it was actually, like, the texture of it and the way it was sitting on my face. I really didn't like it at all. And it also was starting to oxidise on my skin, which... I can't stand when I start turning oompa loompa colour. It's just, it's not my thing. So I've actually decluttered this. This has been sitting in my um, throw out bin for ages. Um, so I have actually finished both of the foundations that were in this particular project. So see, I did finish something. Uh, and then we have the face powders. Um, we had the LOL very light powder. I've not touched this, uh, well maybe once or twice, but I really have not touched this one. Um, I've been working on the other one, um, so it just, it still looks pretty new. Um, it's not that I don't like it or anything, I just, it's not my focus. The other one that I had in here is the Physician's Formula, Physician's Formula Matte Finishing Veil from their Mineral Wear line. This container is terrible, and this brush that they give you with it is so scratchy. I hate it. So what I did is, when I finished my BYS high definition um, face powder, I actually put it in there. Um, and I basically use it every time I do my makeup, and I'm sort of there. It was completely full. This container was like full to overflowing. So now that it actually... It now sort of sits, um, when it sits all level, it sits just below that line. So, made huge progress on that as far as I'm concerned. Because um, I didn't really start using it until I'd finished off the BYS one anyway. Um, and because it's actually got colour to it, um, I don't use it underneath my eye. Because even though it's supposed to be translucent, in fact I think it's supposed to be translucent light. And I just translucent. It's actually got colour to it, um, so I don't use it underneath my eyes because it changes the colour of my concealer. Um, so yeah, but I use it pretty much everywhere else on my face. But it's uh, it's getting there. It's just really slow progress because I don't really need a lot of it. And the highlighter. The main highlighter is the So Susan water-based pure luminizer, which was in another container which got broken, so I put it into this little jar. Um, it might not look any different from the first time you saw it, if you can remember that. Um, again, I'll try to find a picture. But I have been using it. I've started mixing it in with the foundation that I'm currently using to try and uh, move forward through it a little bit. It's... I don't really notice it in my foundation when I put it in my foundation. I don't know if it's doing anything. I'm sure it is. <laughs> um, and the other 
um, highlighter, which is powder highlighter, which I just threw in as an extra, is the Eco Minerals Illuminate in White Light. Which, um, it's like a white, white highlighter. I'm actually wearing it today. I don't know if you can actually tell. Because I put a bit of powder over it. Because it's like white, white. It's uh, a very intense um, highlighter. Um, I don't so I have trouble getting my fingers into containers with my nails. But it's like white and sparkly. <laughs> it's a great highlighter, but it's just very white and sparkly. It's great. I mean, I love it. It's just, it is pretty intense if you don't want, like, an intense look. Um, yeah. My hands look so dry and crusty at the moment. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, yeah, so that was the other product that I had in here. So, I have used up both of the foundations. I've used up one, technically one of the blushes. Um, almost used up one of the eyeshadows. And I'm pretty much just working on the other ones. I don't know how much of the rest of this I'll get finished by the end of the year. I've got quite a few other projects on the go and a lot of other products that I'm actually using. But I'll just keep on working on Because some of these I use every time I do my makeup. So they get progress on them. So that's I think that's all you can really ask for. So that is it for this update. If you want to subscribe, click that button down there. Click the little bell if you want to get notifications. Leave me a thumbs up if you like Project Pan type videos. And leave me a comment down below. I try to respond to all comments. And I will see you in my next video. See ya.